Good afternoon. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It's 1.57 in the afternoon on Saturday, July 20th, 2024, 1.57 p.m. in the afternoon, Saturday, July 20th. I don't know why I always repeat things like that, but it must be my OCD. All right, let's take a look at what happened and... Um, we were forecasting a strong earthquake on the 17th, late on the 17th, and late on the 18th. And uh, on the 17th, we had a 3.5 earthquake hit uh, Southern California. Let's see if we can find it here. And it's right in here somewhere. Yes, Borrego Springs right there. 3.5 earthquake hit Southern California uh, during this First peak in risk, which is right here, this first one on the 17th, right exactly on that peak, 3.5 earthquake hit. This peak here, spike in risk on the 18th, was much stronger. Well, 6.1 was possible on that peak. And we uh, were expecting a strong earthquake to hit California. You could see the risk was very high across to California. We did get a 3.4 uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area. And let's see if we can find that. There it is right there, just east of San Jose. Um, and uh, right in this uh, right in this high-risk area right here, 92%. And then also, besides that 3.4 that hit Morgan Hill east of San Jose, we saw a very strong earthquake uh, northwest of California in Alaska. Nikolsky, Alaska, 6.0, and a 7.4 earthquake hit down in uh, uh, northern Chile. So uh, these magnetic fields are tied together um, along the lines of uh, longitudinal lines. You can look online, uh, Google the Earth, Earth's magnetic field. You can see those lines kind of follow the uh, longitudinal lines and when you get a um, a tangle in the magnetosphere here in uh, California, that affects the areas around it as well. So right exactly on this peak right here, the peak was between 3.30 in the afternoon and 9.30 California time. Right during that time, we had the 6.0 and the 7.4 earthquake hit exactly during that peak. So it's, it's not al always affecting just California. It's affecting areas around that as well. So we were very lucky to uh, miss, uh, avoid that earthquake, but it did hit, um, it did, uh, the tangle in the magnetosphere was released in uh, Alaska and down in Chile, leaving this area still uh, at risk in the future. So we'll wait and see the next um, peak and risk. Well, the next peak and risk is coming up uh, today on the 20th right here and that's uh, between uh, 8 let's see 6 p.m. and 7 about 7:30 or 8 between 6 and 8 p.m. california time we have a risk here on the 20th it should be about a 3.4 it could trigger something bigger most likely about a 3.4 earthquake and that should hit right let's see we're on the 20th so either up here in the uh, salt lake in the um, South Lake Tahoe area, Northwest Nevada, Northeast California. That's very high risk, but also here, the 20th, 21st. On this map is in Northwest California. Those maps kind of overlap. So you have to look at where, where you're living and then look at the map, uh, forecast map. So this is the 19th and 20th. This is the 20th to the 21st. And you can see that 3.4 is uh, most likely to hit 3.4 is possible in this Northwest California area on this next peak right there. And we will have a more current graph coming up within the next uh, couple hours over at quakeprediction.com. So you can see the risk has now shifted to uh, Northwest Nevada and Northeast California, also Northwest California, the 20th to the 21st, and then the 21st to 22nd. The risk still remains in north central to northwest California. In Japan, this is the fifth 
earthquake in a row that has hit exactly where we said it was going to hit. We uh, had forecasted uh, the quake up in Hokkaido and a 5.0 hit there. And then in uh, western uh, area over near Totori. Um, and then we had a like a 4.9 out there. And um, I believe that was the area out here in western Japan. And then after that, an earthquake hit right down near Tokyo in the in our risk there. And now this 4.8 just hit in Ibaraki, Japan, which as you can see is is we had mentioned even in the last video, you can check out. And we said a, a, a significant earthquake will hit in the Ibaraki Fukushima area. And there it is, 4.8 Ibaraki area. So this forecast model is working extremely well in Japan. And then uh, this is the forecast coming up for the 23rd to 24th of Japan, right out there in uh, Western Japan. Let's see real quick here. We can check that forecast out. Let's see. And here it is, 23rd to the 24th. And that is in, let's see if we can translate this real quick. <laughs> Uh, Ishikawa, Toyama, and Gifu prefectures. Uh, Toyama, Ishikawa, which is over here, and then Gifu, which is right here. So a 5.0 earthquake is possible in that area of, uh, uh, of Japan on the 23rd and the 24th. So that's uh, working very well over there. And, and uh, it's working extremely well in Japan and California. We'll be expanding to other countries as well. Um, over at the, uh, on the Japan um twitter x.com you can now subscribe over there and get um maps before anybody else 24 hours before anybody else we'll put the forecast there first so you'll be updated before anybody else that's a subscription over at um, x.com slash earthquake japan over on the uh, japan twitter page <laughs> i can't stop saying twitter for some reason all right so um Again, looking for a 3.4 or so quake on this next peak, and we'll have the uh, we'll be updating the graphs online and uh, keeping you updated at quakeprediction.com. Again, we got a very strong earthquake in uh, in uh, northern Chile and one in uh, Alaska during our last peak, very strong peak that we were expecting something in California. We only got a 3.4 in the San Francisco Bay, and uh, so that was verified with those two strong earthquakes. And um, so you're always warned here at quakeprediction.com what is going to happen, especially now with this new forecast model. It's very exciting. After 20 years of research, we found a way to see how much energy is, is uh, risk is, how high the risk is for California. And you'll be able to uh, prepare. If, for example, we see another strong peak coming up, like the one we just saw for California, uh, you, you'll know that something big is going to happen, whether it's right here in California or uh, very close to California. And uh, so you can always be prepared for those uh, big earthquakes ahead of time. And we'll warn you here at quakeprediction.com and keep you informed. And eventually, if we get some subscribers over at, uh, on these pages, we'll be able to uh, expand. And we'll have more time for Taiwan and for Alaska forecasts as well as uh, Italy and Greece and some other Chile and some other countries as well. So if you can, if you're able to, please subscribe over at uh, Earthquake Japan, Twitter slash Earthquake Japan, and we will keep you informed here at quakeprediction.com. Uh, again, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake For Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. With 20 years of research and over 274,000 followers on social media, we will talk to you again very soon. Thanks again for your support.